mom home. Mom. I want to get my driving license. All my friends have already started driving. Go and get a driving license. Who's stopping you? Ma, you know that driving lessons nowadays are so expensive. About 2000 to 3000 So I was thinking maybe... Jara, why don't you stop wasting your time with your friend? Go and find a job. You have three months till NS? Yeah, but it's not as if I haven't been trying to find a job, right? Ah, forget it. If you don't want to pay for my driving lessons, just say so. Hello, I'm interested in the job. My name is Gerald Cole. My email address is geraldcole97 at gmail.com. Hi. Hello. Thank you for your job application. May I do a quick interview with you? Yeah, sure. We are based overseas, so our communication will always be through chat or email. Is that okay with you? Don't worry, we're not doing anything illegal. How old are you? I am 20. Very good. We actually deal with many companies in Singapore. We are a shipping business, so we need help to transfer money from our clients in Singapore to our bank account in UK. That is where you can help us if you join our company. For every fund transfer you do, we will pay you a commission. As promised, you can make thousands in a month. Yeah, I'm just waiting to go to the army. I'm quite free. Very good. Welcome to our company. Is that it for the interview? Yes, we don't like wasting time. Gerald, I've just sent you an official letter of appointment. Please read through the terms and sign the contract and email it back to me. Gerald, I got your contract. Now, you need to go down to the bank and open up a new bank account under your name. But this account is meant only for business purposes. Do not use this account for your personal matters. And once you've opened the account, send me the account number. After that, I will transfer funds to the account. Every time I need you to do a transaction, I will send you a message. You will then go to the bank and withdraw a specified amount. You can keep 10% of each transaction as your commission. Then, transfer the remaining amount to David Smith in London. Hi, I'd like to transfer some money. Can I have an ID, please? Who do you want to transfer the money to? Smith David. And your relationship with him is? Employee. How much do you want to transfer? 450 SGD. Check your details and sign over here. for you. Where do you get this money from? I found a job in an international company and I've been earning at least 3000 a month. Oh, and by the way, I'll be starting my driving lessons next week, but don't worry, I'll be paying for them myself.
people has been chasing me for the payment. Can you pay them as soon as possible? Yes, I'll do it right now. Thank you. This is Katrin. I'm calling from Daphne Logistics. I just made a fund transfer through my company's iBanking account. The bank loading page is asking me to wait for two hours. Is there an issue? Okay, ma'am. Can you please try logging into your iBanking account using another computer? Okay, hold on. Hello? Katrin again? Hi. Can you please check if your transaction has gone through? There's a 20,000 fund transfer here. I didn't do that. Okay, ma'am, just give me a second. Let me take a look. Ma'am, I've managed to stop the fund transactions from going through. Thank you so much. You're welcome. I suggest that you make a police report on this fraudulent transaction involving your account. You can lodge this report on the Singapore Police Force website. There's a complainant by the name of Catherine Sim from Definite Logistics who made a police report regarding a fraudulent bank transaction. Can you liaise with her? If need be, cease the system's forensic examination. Hi, are you Miss Sim? Yes. I'm SIO Jimmy. We spoke earlier. Can you show me where is your computer? This is a computer. We need to bring this computer back for forensic examination. Okay. He needs to take a CPU? Yes. Gerald, don't sleep so long, or you won't be able to sleep tonight. Yeah, I'm awake. Okay, sir. Um, sir, give me a moment, please. We have a customer who wants to withdraw twenty thousand dollars from okay. his account. However, his account has been red flagged. Red flagged? Yep. Mr. Ko? Yeah? Would you please follow me? Okay. Please take a seat, Mr. Ko. Yeah. There is a small issue with the bank account, but we're still checking on it. Okay. All right? Edwin, here's the report. Uh, the laptop was infected with a dry deck malware when the victim opened an email attachment from a personal email claiming she had won a lucky draw. Later, when performing a banking transaction for her company, the malware allowed the perpetrator to hijack the session and transfer $20,000 to a separate account. Luckily, the account is based locally, so we could stop it in time. Any leads on the perpetrator who hijack the session? Not yet. We're still investigating. But we managed to get the guy whose account the money was transferred to. Sir, I was looking for a part-time job. And that was when I received an email from Mr. Smith in London. He offered me a job. Doing what? Well, basically, their clients would transfer money to my account and afterwards, all I had to do was to transfer that money to Mr. Smith's company's account in London via a remittance company, that's all. I'm not sure if you're aware. What you're doing now is a very serious offence. You're acting as a money mule. Money mule? Sir, I think there must be some kind of mistake. I signed a contract with Mr. Smith and he even gave me a letter of appointment from his company. I can show you. That being said, through our investigation, all the money that was transferred to your account was obtained illegally. Illegally? I'm going to need you to cooperate with us. Is that clear? Yes, sir. 
Daryl, you have committed multiple offences of transferring benefits of criminal conduct. Today, forces use a variety of means to steal and move stolen funds electronically. To avoid becoming an unsuspecting partner with fraudsters, please ensure that you use your bank account for your own banking needs only. Do not let people you whom you've never met or unfamiliar with deposit funds into your account and help them to transfer funds. If you receive illegal funds and the money is in your account, report it to the police immediately. To prevent yourself from becoming a victim of malware, you should always install the latest antivirus software on your devices. If you notice something unusual about your online banking transaction, you should contact your bank immediately to verify this. The public is also reminded that those who fail to report suspicious financial activities and knowingly assist fraudsters will be investigated and prosecuted for their involvement in the scams. Anyone found guilty of money laundering offences may be jailed up to 10 years and fined up to $500,000. Members of the public are reminded to take the following precautions to avoid being a victim of iBanking malware. Emails from unknown senders should be treated with caution. If an email looks dubious, do not open its attachments. Opening file attachments, especially from unknown senders, harbours risks. Attachments should first be scanned with an up-to-date antivirus software before opening. Never click on links and emails without checking the URL. After the break, a new method of cyber extortion used by hackers. I'll drop you a meal right now. Uh, Raj, can you work faster? Hello. It's not like you're paying me. <sighs> Come on, what are friends for? You better pay for my cab ride here and back to my office. Why did you take a cab? My lunch break is not two hours. Okay, okay, fine. I'll pay for half of the cab fare. Can you hurry up? Don't forget my favourite food. Sure, sure, sure. I'll give you a treat. Deal. Your computers are working fine now. This is your Wi-Fi password. Okay. I hope you know how to log into your Wi-Fi with your phone. <laughs> hey, do I look that stupid? Just checking. <laughs> oh! Huh? This hard disk came free with your computers. Please back your files regularly. If anything happens to your computers, at least you have a backup. Touch with that, bro! <laughs> Why are you so negative? Nothing will happen to these computers. Hello. Your computers aren't protected. You don't have antivirus, firewall or anti-malware you should really get a security suite. This is so troublesome. I just started a new business here. I don't have enough time. I'm not going to argue with you. I have to get back to the office. If there's any issues, call me. Bye. Thanks, Raj. Bye. Bye. Hello? Hey baby, are you done? Baby, I'm rushing a proposal right now. Can I call you back? Have you booked a flight ticket? No baby, I told you that I'm busy, right? Can't this wait till tomorrow? No, the promotion ends today. Then why don't you just go ahead and book the tickets yourself? But I don't have your credit card details. <sighs> okay, fine. I'll check it now. In five hours, the ransom will be doubled. Oh, man. 
What am I gonna do? Raj. Hey, hey Raj. I'm sorry, I, I know it's very late now, but I need your help. Oh Raj, thank God you're here. What happened? I don't know. I just clicked on a link in my email and the message appeared. Uh, what did you just take a look? Huh. Uh. I told you to get the security suite. Serves you right. Raj, can you stop rubbing it in? Are you going to help me or not? This is ransomware. It's a type of malware that encrypts files. Only the hacker has a decryption code. Then how do I get this decryption code from this hacker? Can't you read? He is holding you ransom. The only way you're going to get the code is if you pay him. That, that's ridiculous! In the old days, you kidnap people. Now, you kidnap documents. Welcome to the new world, my friend. And um, what, what if I don't pay them? Do you back up the documents like I told you? Uh, no, I didn't have time. Then you have no choice but to pay the ransom. It says you have to pay two bitcoins in the next five hours. What on earth are bitcoins? It's digital assets. Huh? Online currency. You use it like money to make transactions online. If I'm not mistaken, the exchange rate is about $640 for one Bitcoin. Why does this have to happen now? I'm working on a proposal for a really important client and it's due tomorrow. I don't have time for this. How? How? Do I have a choice? Uh, so how do we get these Bitcoins? Well, I know a place. Come, let's go. Hey, Alan. I must warn you. If you pay now, the hacker might hold you ransom again. And there's no guarantee he will give you the encryption key even after you pay. But I need to submit my proposal by tomorrow. And I don't have time to do it again from scratch. I've been working on it for a whole month already. I really need the documents in my computer. And all my company files I need too. Then let's just pay the ransom. Okay, this is the machine. Okay. Okay, I need to scan my QR code. Okay, you need to pay $1,266. Okay. I should have more than enough. Okay, we're done. I'll get a code in my email. Let's head back to your office. Okay. What's taking him so long? I already warned you, Alan. You're taking a big risk. You have to be prepared for the worst. Is it him? Yes. Did he send a decryption code? I think so. Uh, let me just download it first. Okay. Uh-huh. What? Send me two more bitcoins for the decryption code? I told you so. There's no way I'm going to get any more of these bitcoins! Uh, who knows you keep his word this time? I'm not going to be held ransom like this. I've had enough. Uh, Raj, I'm... I'm so sorry for wasting our time, man. It's okay. I better make a move first. Uh, uh, Raj, Raj, Raj. Can you send me the URL to buy the security suite? Okay, sure. And this time, please back up your documents, okay? Okay. All right. Being one of the most wired nations in the world, it's no coincidence that online criminal syndicates target Singaporeans. Therefore, we must always remain vigilant and ensure that our computers and networks are well protected. Ransomware attacks have been on the rise and companies and individuals have fallen victim to it. To protect yourselves against ransomware attacks, be vigilant at all times and exercise caution when opening suspicious emails and attachments. When in doubt, check with the sender if they had indeed sent the emails before opening it. Do not click on suspicious web links and do not download software from unauthorized sources. You should back up your important and sensitive files using an external backup source such as an external hard disk regularly. If you have been infected by ransomware, reformat your system and clean up with an antivirus application before restoring from your backup data. Should you require more detail on ransomware, do visit the SingCert website at www.csa .gov.sg slash singset To find out more on common types of scams in Singapore, please visit www.scamalert.sg 
If you have any information relating to such scams, call the police hotline at 1-800-255-0000. We've come to the end of this episode of Crime Watch. If you have any feedback, do drop us an email. Until next month, I'm Superintendent Julius Lim, signing off. Thank you